Hey guys, what is up? Thank you for tuning in to this video. This video is going to be all about how you can get an Azure SendGrid account connected to your Jenkins um, to use as an SMTP relay, which is really important for um, the email build notification and sending out messages whether builds were successful or whether they failed or whatever basically you want to do. And if you guys are new to my channel and would like to follow me along whenever I release new content, go ahead and feel free to subscribe below and let me um, know in, a, in the comment section whether you found this video useful, whether I could add something more in the future, or just any, any ideas, or heck, even just to say hello. So now that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the nitty gritty of this and why we're here. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so first off we need to be in your um, Azure account. So this is my just personal training account that I do a lot of the uh, different things on, like these tutorials with. So let's create a new resource for SendGrid. Let's go in here, we're gonna type in SendGrid, create, Okay, so now here is where we list the information. So if you don't have a resource group for this, I would go ahead and just create a new one. This is just my Azure SendGrid uh, tutorial. Okay, location's fine. Name. That's available. Cool. Password. I'm just going to use my old faithful here. Okay, so then this is important here, guys, too. The pricing tier, you will see that it's free. So 25,000 emails a month. I mean, and for Jenkins, that's that's all you need unless you're you have a ridiculous amount of builds that you're sending out. But for this, this works just fine. Fill out this information here. I'm just gonna put in a, in a, and this is all I really wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead, review and create. You can kind of review just to make sure that everything looks good, but this is exactly what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and create, create and it's gonna go ahead and deploy um, the send grid information for us and the resource group for it as well. So hang tight guys, I will be right back when this is all finished. One eternity later. Azure SendGrid account pretty much set up. What we'll do next is we'll go and click this manage button on top here. And this will take us to uh, SendGrid. Okay. And it says, we want to make sure you get in touch, confirm your email address. Yep, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and confirm my email address real quick here. Okay, so after we confirm our email address, this brings us to, uh, to here. So basically, yeah, there's all a whole bunch of stuff here for SendGrid that you could use, but we're not really going to use this. The most important thing that we'll need from here is this an API key. So we're gonna have to create the um, API key from here. So it's super simple. Just like click this button here. Uh, let's go ahead and just do full access. Oh, whoops. Um, you can link this. Just have Jenkins send grid API key. Great view. Okay, so this is kind of how, like it was with AWS, once this is generated, it won't show up again. So we have to make sure that we copy it and just put it in a location that will save it in. So just for now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open a new tab, paste that in. Uh, obviously, I'm probably not gonna keep it here, but this is just for transfer purposes for now. 
and it's like done. Okay, and then that's the API key ID right there. So that's good, we have that set up. So now we're uh, moving on to Jenkins. So let me go ahead and get that Docker containing running and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are um, back to the same um, Jenkins container that I was uh, worked in with this previous tutorial beforehand. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I did do one the same process uh, with AWS SES. I'll go ahead and uh, take a link, uh, put a link, card link in the top corner here when uh, you guys can check that out when this is all done. So let's go ahead and check out Manage Jenkins Configure System. go down here now this is the setup that I still had for AWS so we're gonna remove all this so in order to use this information I literally just pulled up the um, SendGrid docs for this I think it's this page nope not that page nope not that page right there aha okay and I'll take a look, I'll put a link to where I found this documentation um, in the description below. But we're gonna go ahead and copy pasta. Uh, not worrying about that. Using that link, authentication. Okay. So username is gonna be API key. Password is going to be the key itself. So let's go ahead and grab this API key that we copied from the SendGrid dashboard. Okay, port 587 is what we're going to be hitting here. Okay. All right, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead by and uh, test this out. Yeah. So I'm going to use just my one again. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Ho ho! All right, fail to send out email. Unrecognized SSL message. <laughs> oh, maybe I don't need that. Yeah, maybe I don't need that. Okay, let's try this again. Second time's a all right, cool. Well, so it was uh, successfully sent. Let's go over and double check that that worked. Here is our test email. It did go to my spam box though the first time around, and I did have to tell it, to, you know, please accept um, this email is not spam. So if you guys are run into that problem, remember just to check your spam. Um, sometimes those get sent there, but. Yeah, so there's our test email. This is test email number two, sent from Jenkins. So let's go ahead and go back to Jenkins. We're gonna build like a legit job. And uh, after a successful build, it will send us an email with uh, with some results for us and uh, we can use it as an attachment or whatnot we would like to do. So that made no sense whatsoever. I am totally sorry. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so we're back to the extended email notification section in the uh, configure uh, systems uh, area of Jenkins. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically copy the information that we put down below here. Some old stuff. Don't use SSL. Which, if you're worried about the SSL, I, I wouldn't be worried too much about it. I don't feel like this has to be sent through SSL. Um, if you really wanted it to, I'm sure there's a reach around for it. Well, maybe not, not with SendGrid. Um, you could use the SSL with the AWS SES. That'd be something uh, I just haven't looked into. Basically copying all this. Yeah, maybe I should just get it. Okay. No 
reply at Gmail. Okay. Yeah. And if you're, you know, super uh, worried about the S, like they're allowed domains that you could get real, you could get way more um, protective in this area than just like the test area that I was in. Because I just use this email notification just to make sure that the connections are set up and that it gets sent. Otherwise, like I set up this whole thing and then it doesn't, you know, it's just, it's more of a time saver to do it this way first. I think it's faster anyway. So. default triggers and you can change the default triggers I just have mine on success for now but you could literally get more creative uh, with this as well we're just gonna keep it on success okay so I feel pretty good about that I'm gonna go save it we're gonna take this back here so we'll go ahead into the, this job I kind of pre-created. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Let's see what it says. Yeah. So, don't do build now. We're going to go to configure. Uh, I'm just gonna do go foobar. And then you're going to go down here to post build actions, editable email notification. So you're going to go ahead and click that. This should be one of the default plugins that are basically installed when you just add like all the plugins in at once when you first set up Jenkins. If not, you can go into the manage plugins area of Jenkins and find it, uh, the mailer uh, plugin there. Let's see. So set this up project from recipient list so let's say no reply oops no reply gmail.com let's just say for this and if you guys want to add more emails to this all you would do is just add a comma space and then whatever other emails so if you want to add more than one email that's how you would do it okay so you can go here default subject so this is the basically the subject header for the email so you could say editable wow edit bubble email notification job results we're going to attach the log file so attached is the build log file from uh, the successfully completed job so we're just going to go ahead and compress and add attach build log. So let's do that. Um, advanced settings. This is where, oh yeah, this is where we'll need it to actually say, hey, when this uh, job is successful, I need you to send it to not the developers, but I need you to send it to the recipient list. So the recipient list will pull from up here, which are which is my email or the multiple emails that you could set up here. So, yep, that looks good. So it's going to trigger on success. Um, I don't think we need to add anything else. You can add other triggers and for, I guess, different recipient lists if you wanted to. I don't know. I haven't really played with that much. Let's go ahead and save. And let's go ahead and test it and see what comes out of it. Cool. That was really fast. Okay. So, send it on complete, echo foobar, foobar email was triggered for, sending in success, request made to compress build logs, sending email, 
and it says it uh, finished up. So let me go ahead and let's go back and check the email and see if we did receive the build notification. All right, here she is. So here's the job results. Get that rid of that. All right, and here's the build log zip file. Y'all know that guy? Open him up. All right, and uh, there's the build log. All right, and that is that. So if you guys found this video useful or it helped you solve a problem, please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any trouble still walking through the pro process. Wow. Please let me know anyway, and I will try to help out the best I can. Uh, hopefully you guys found this information useful and uh, able to implement on your own uh, Azure hosting and um, Jenkins platform as well. Until next time, guys. Laters.